The Cleveland Browns are at home after taking week five off. Funny, sort of felt like the 49ers did too, right? He escapes and fires end zone. Touchdown, Kittle! No, no, Niners Empire, you had to work for it. But it's nice to steamroll a team without looking like you're trying, right? 49ers Cowboys beatdown also happened without CMC being at the center of it. I mean, Christian McCaffrey scored again. Dude's Bob Ross's BFF at this point. McCaffrey to the goal line. 14 straight games with a touchdown. But just 2.7 yards per carry and a fumble lost. Hadn't seen anything like that from him all year. Yet, San Francisco's rush attack still rolled on, and that's because their running back room is stupid loaded. Jordan Mason gets 10 carries, scored, turns himself into a Gronk fave. 6.9 a run, 69 yards, would start for most teams. Pushing himself and pushing himself to the end zone. Jordan Mason, touchdown, San Francisco. So what does Cleveland have to offer in terms of run defense? They've taken on Joe Mixon, Najee Harris, King Henry, Gus Edwards, holding running backs under four per run. Pitch it, Edwards, nowhere to go. Sniffed out, the Browns all over it. 49ers passing game, which is a bewitched episode to deal with if their run game is popping, comes in off a near-perfect outing. The C in between the B is through the roof right now. Brock Purdy's confidence sky high after torching what was supposed to be an elite secondary. Over 250 yards, over 10 yards per attempt, four touchdowns, no picks, rating near 145. George Kittle outplayed Greg with a TD hat trick. Purdy got a punt. End zone hat trick. Kittle's first three touchdown game of his NFL career. Brandon Ayuk averages over 90 yards per game, 58 last week. And Purdy to the air again, and Ayuk one more time in space at the 33-yard line. Debo caught three passes for 55 yards in that game, ran for 32. Purdy had all the time in the world. Micah who? Trent Williams dominated him. Brock only took one sack for two yards, and it wasn't to any of Dallas's D line. Five to the pattern for Purdy, who escapes and fires end zone. Touchdown, Kittle! So here comes Miles Garrett. Jackson gets crushed by Miles Garrett. Garrett, an elite pass rusher himself, five and a half sacks in four games. It's the snap, he's pressured by Miles Garrett. Titans. Browns have a very healthy plus 40% pressure rate, and Cleveland's secondary can feed off that heat. They've held QBs to a 75.7 rate. Cornerback Martin Emerson holding him to a sub-50 rate. Dude doesn't get enough pub. With MJ Emerson out of Mississippi State, a third rounder. He's a terrific cover guy. Denzel Ward has held quarterbacks to a sub-60 rate. Safety Grant Delpit's rating allowed under 30. Cleveland has held running backs to a sub-90 rate. They've held wide receivers to a low 60 rate. Pickett with all day, Oshinsky lost it. And the Browns end up with a delt hit after a hit by Ward. Could Kittle have another big outing? Cleveland's secondary's blind spot is tight end. They've allowed a rating over 130 to that position. Throws. Finds the soft spot, Andrews with the catch. Keeping San Francisco's offense at bay half the challenge, Cleveland also has to try and crack their D. It's a tough nut to crack. Dak trying to make something happen. Downfield, intercepted. Deshaun Gibson. Deshaun Watson, the next up to try and play nutcracker. But who will try and play nutcracker for Cleveland this week? Deshaun Watson still hadn't practiced as of Wednesday. Browns announcing they would roll with P.J. Walker if he can't go. The fact they announced that makes Watson playing seem kind of iffy. Throwing Walker at the Niners defense would be a significant downgrade, especially when you consider what Cleveland's offense looked like the last time Watson played. Looking down the left side, he's got a wide open for a Watson's latest showing back in week three saw him throw for almost 290 yards, two TDs and no picks, a rating over 120. He's got Cooper wide open for a touchdown! Okay, so it wasn't against the best secondary. Tennessee has struggled against the pass. The 49ers have not. Again, but inside deflected, and Warner comes up with a deflected interception! They picked off Dak Prescott three times, held him to a low 50s rate. They have the second lowest rate in the NFL, second in yards per attempt allowed, first in yards per completion allowed, tied for the most INTs. Ten, 
the slant, Oren Burks comes up with the interception. The third interception of the night. Sacking Watson should be somewhat expected in this game because it's his game. He's a risk-reward type guy. He's taken three to six sacks in every contest he's played. Play action fake, he's back. And the ball is out, and the Steelers pick it up. And that's TJ Watt. 49ers pass rush is Randy Marsh at a baseball game loaded, bagged Dak three times, sacked Cooper once for good measure. On third down, they get to Prescott, and it's Nick Bosa. When Watson lets it fly, Amari Cooper, priority number one for San Francisco's DBs, 110 plus yards and a touchdown when he was with Watson back in week three. Watson on second and nine, puts some air under it, it's caught! Oh, free. Donovan Peoples-Jones, the deep threat, he's a bigger go-home guy. Elijah Moore is the chain mover. His last game with Watson, only 49 yards, but nine catches on nine targets. But somehow escapes initially, third down pass is caught. This will be a first down. Watson has a solid tight end in David Njoku, dumps plenty to his backs as well. Jerome Ford and Kareem Hunt, the options there. As a runner, Ford has had his moments. Running play to Ford, gets to the outside and keeps those legs churning for a first down run. But the Browns' run game is an X factor without the fabulous Mr. Chubb, and hard to see it doing too much versus Fred Warner and Dre Greenlaw. They shut down Tony Pollard, holding running backs to 3.7 a run for the season. If you're Mike McCarthy and you come out and you decide you're gonna be willing to run it on that down because it's four down territory, and you can't gain a yard, that's a problem. Can the 49ers get to 6-0, and or will the dog pound pull a little shocker? I think a panel of 10 sweep is coming after what we saw from the 49ers last week. Maybe not in the comments section, though. Upsets happen. You don't see them coming, right? NFL Plus you can see coming if you sign up for it. Means you can watch live games, NFL Red Zone, NFL Network, and more on mobile. Here's our picks.